Yeah. Uh, so, our third bout of chess boxing. The next person to join us in the ring hails all the way from Helsinki. And he's another first timer. Lots of cherries going boop tonight. <laughs> uh, his name is Otto. And like his namesake, Otto von Bismarck, he loves statecraft and a cold, crisp Pilsner. Yeah. Bismarck takes on a challenge with self-confidence and determination, so he says. Blood and iron. That's what he's all about. Let's see what that's all about. That's interesting. He's training out of Helsinki, where he eats nothing but rotten fish for the month before he fights. I'm not sure how his gut health is right now. Maybe a few stomach punches and we'll find out. Hopefully not. <laughs> He's coming to London to win either with a chess piece or a fist, but to win just the same. So let's make some noise. In the red corner, weighing 86 kilograms, standing at 191 centimeters, Otto Bismarck Vera. some love turn around yeah there we go so he is a first time chess boxer but his chess elo is 1250 oh someone's music cue has started a bit early so uh we're ready for our next chess boxer then <laughs> it's a great song another virgin joining him in the ring in the blue corner Standing at 185 centimetres, weighing 95 kilograms. Make some noise for Anthony Toto the Robot Burashev. Oh, Some say half man, half machine. He's been plugged in there. 
uh, at the back booted up. The artificial Irishman getting ready to go. He's adjusting his earpiece. He, he, he must. His mechanical brain must be making so many calculations right now. Oh, he's fired up. He's fired up. This bodes well. This bodes well. A computer crash would be devastating for him at this stage and all but certainly losing the fight. And computer chess is really at quite a level these days. So for his opponent, you have to hope that there is uh, flesh and blood underneath that artificial exterior. Otherwise, I think this could be over very quickly. Well, Isaac Asimov explored. Is it a man? Is it a machine? Who knows? I am quite frankly perplexed, Christopher. But, you know, it's all about the fight. It's all about who is going to be Alpha Hero and who's going to be Alpha Zero. A strong niche reference there. Uh, the chess geeks in the crowd. Um, but a very classical opening here. Yeah, so we've got a Queen's Gambit declined, Knight to C3, good move, exerting control over the center. Black has a number of different options here. He can defend the pawn with his knight, he can defend it with his C pawn, he can move his C pawn two squares forward, the Tarash defense, and exert greater control in the center. Oh, Knight to C6, Knight to C6, an unusual move here. Uh, now, the kind of critical element of the position is that Black doesn't have an easy pawn break. He wants to play e5 at some point, but that's going to be hard because, well, it's going to be impossible now because he's captured on d5. He's captured on d5, so now Black's main pawn break is c5, but it's blocked by a knight, whereas White can aim for e4. So I I'm already preferring White's position, as befits a computer of his caliber. And the other thing to look at here is the clock time. So you can see that Otto is taking a lot of time over his early moves which is fine, but that could count against him later when they're really gonna have to speed up in the later rounds. So, bishop to d6, you're moving your piece twice in the opening. Knight takes d5, looks possible here. Ah, bishop to g5, bishop to g5. A, a good move, a good move. But if the bishop comes back to e7, what's the bishop gonna do? Okay, knight f6, not a fan of that, not a fan of that at all. The d pawn is very, and he's oh. captured it! He's captured it! The knight's captured a pawn, is that a free pawn, Chris? Uh, it is in this case, but more than just the pawn, there's also the fact that the black knight is pinned against the queen. Oh, he can, he can levy open the king's eye, he can really prize it, oh, but he has! Knight takes f6, a devastating move! Now, he's going to have to capture back with the pawn, and black's king is going to be disastrously exposed! Could we see a quick win for this powerful Irish computer? Well, if you, rem if you remember, in the first bout, we were saying that the idea of castling, which Black had just done, it's to oh, tuck your king away in the Bishop. corner, get yeah. it safe, but it's already lost the safety. But that was a little bit of a limp follow-up there from the machine. Yeah, bit of a malfunction there, but we're all... Well, I was going to say we're all human, but that's slightly self-defeating. Bishop d2, though, not a fan, not a fan. And Bishop f5 is a good move. Black is now ahead in development, and although his king's open, although he is a pawn down, if Black can seize the initiative here, then he might get something. But a3 is a... You know, a, a3 is a decent piece of prophylaxis. And that's the bell. Intriguing, attritional start that really makes you question the nature of humanity. Indeed, Matt. Indeed. Nonetheless, Bishop F5 there at the end. I mean, as well as a good active square. What I like about that is they can drop back to G6 and really cover off that exposed king. So it's a good dual purpose move. And I'm going to interrupt there to, uh, well, but frankly, the visual speaks for itself. I don't think I need to add any words to what I'm witnessing in the blue corner. Well, I'd have to, I'd have to double check because there was a bit of a flurry there. It might be that the Bishop D2 was actually forced because of the attack on the dark squares. It may be that he had to bring it back, leaving us with this kind of double-edged position. Bishop H6 looked like the natural yeah, move. Yeah, Bishop H6 there available too. Bishop H6 looked good. Was Bishop B4? Was Knight D2 available? That certainly looks like the plan you want to play in that position, but I don't know. No, it might be that, as a computer, he analysed it so deeply that even this humble commentator uh, missed something. I mean, he could be seeing 10, 15, nay, 20 moves into the future for all we know. Possibly even thousands, if you can believe it. But now, let's 
see how it goes in the boxing. Two fights I've not seen before. Uh, Otto Bismarck, we've not spoken about him very much, no, uh, mainly because he wasn't wearing a morph suit. Um, however, he looks like he would know his way around a boxing ring. Yeah, Otto, Otto Bismarck, fan of statesman craft, fan of a crisp, cold pilsner of an evening. In, in many respects, you know, your archetypal human being. Complex, dignified, loves a beer. Anthony Burisha, though, a little bit of a, a height advantage, and I would say a weight advantage too. 95 kilos he's listed at, uh, and a fair bit of that looks to be muscle. And hair, dare I say. Yeah, no, I mean hair or wires. I suppose it's almost certainly wires. It would hair would be too uh, anthropomorphic to suggest that he is anything other than a cold, unstoppable machine. And the bell sounds. Also uh, coming out of swing, Anthony counting well. I, I love the jab from Anthony there. Oh, although he shipped a blood. Oh, a couple of hefty rights to the He is down. Is he, okay? is he okay? Is he out? Is he okay? He's down. That, that, looked like a, that looked like a big, big punch. I think this could be off. Yeah, I think this is off already. That was a couple of very hefty right hands that were landed there. Uh, he looks very shaky. I hope Ant I hope Anthony's okay. That was that that was a that was a big, big punch. Yeah, it's off. It's it's off, and now our concern is just uh, to see Anthony. Uh, hopefully, on his, yeah, he's on his feet. Good man. Um, good man. He looks a little dazed and and some, but that was really. A couple of very strong rights that were detonated there uh, on his chin. He still looks like he's not entirely sure where he is. Um, but yeah, yeah this, this this doesn't bode well. He looks. Does he look concussed? I'm not a medical person. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. But um, we take it. We take this all incredibly seriously. It's very. It's nice to see his opponent coming over as well. That's very. That's very classy. We've got the medical team coming in, which is great. Safety is paramount. Uh, yeah. at London Chess Boxing and some just good behaviours all round um, after what was a, a very, very sort of challenging series of blows by Bismarck. Uh, yeah, it, it was just, you could see there might have been a bit of trouble. It was the one right hand, uh, the first straight right that kind of set it and you could see the legs buckle a little bit from Anthony. Uh, he was firing back, which is often what you do. Uh, when you're a little bit stunned, and he left himself open for the second harder follow-up right, which, as he saw, sent him tumbling to the canvas um, and his head back into the ropes. But he is up, he is talking to his corner, he will be being checked out by the medical team here. So, all fine, but a rather swift end to this, Arthur. About. And unusual to see it end in such a fashion. Normally, mm. as you noted at the start of the evening, it's the chess that decides. Uh, and um, the, the chess was very interestingly balanced as well. I, I, as I said, Bishop, Bishop, Bishop D2, I'm not sure whether Bishop H6 was possible in that position, but Bishop D2 left it so that uh, Black could actually use his extra pieces potentially to his advantage. The long-term weakness down the G-file would have been an issue, as were the double F-pawns. is OK, everyone! As you can see, our wonderful uh, health team here uh, looking out for him. But we do have a result by knockout. Give it up for Bismarck! And let's give both our fighters an, an amazingly big round of applause. First time as both of them. An amazing camaraderie. Let's grab a quick word with our winner at your first time chess boxing. How are you feeling right now? Amazing, of course, you know. Uh, uh, I put a lot of effort before the match, so I'm a bit disappointed it was so, you know, fast and quick. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to have a new, maybe here in London, yeah. Thank, and thank you so much for your amazing sportsmanship. Can I say something? In Finnish? Okay, Suome Antonille, sille Malmille, Pinato Viere, Kamu, teille kaikille, kiitos. Yeah, Butsile Fajale tietysti, terveiset Sadi, yes. Finnish, for all the Finnish speakers. Um, and let's, let's just grab a quick word. Uh, just well done from all of us. Give him a massive round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find the night? So apart from the knockout, obviously, but like you were amazing on the set. Uh, I'm not sure how much of it I remember. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm okay. Good. Great, give him some more love one more time for our robots! <laughs> All right, I 
as you can